What's going on my beat builders? It's a great day to be alive. This video, I'm gonna show you all the plugins I use to make my two main genres, and that is hip hop and drama and tension type music. So I'm about to start a new project, and when I always start a new project, I have all these templates. Now, if you're not using templates, you're definitely not um, making your music making efficient as possible. As you can see, I have hip hop beats, hip hop orchestral, investigative hip hop, investigative music, different templates just so I can create faster. Well, let's go behind the scenes of what virtual instruments and plugins I use. So for most of my drums, I use battery. And even though Logic has a stock drum designer, I don't know. I just like battery for my plugins just because I can see all the different roles. So I have them mapped differently to my machine that I'm using over here that it helps me allow to go to the different roles real quick and efficiently. So what I usually do, this is my hip hop kit. You can see I have two tracks of kicks, a clap, snare, hi-hats, my percussion crash and riser. This just helps me go through it real fast. I know you can usually route the different outputs to the different channels, but I've always done it like this where I have things on separate channels. That's just me being picky. You don't have to do it like this. Next one thing is my risers. So in the original Massive, I like the original Massive. I think it's better than the Massive X, but I haven't really gave Massive X a shot. So I have plugins loaded up. So I have just different risers that I made. If I check in the settings, why I like massive, here are all you can see it says right here in the FX. So if I just click on different ones, have different FX and risers. So I mostly cycle through these like all the time in most of my tracks. I love massive X. I mean, the original Massive in general. I tend to use uh, quite a bit of strings, and these are pretty simple strings that come in the um, contact. It's just their orchestral strings. I really love like... They just sound good. They have a natural reverb that you can on and off. So I really like their strings. Also, it's another string plugin that I really like if you have the if you have the sweet the string ensembles they make really good um, sounding orchestral sounds as well you can change the articulations and stuff like that I usually love my staccato notes so they're a little bit higher quality than the contact strings so for most of my sync journey, I did get through with the just the regular contact strings. So you don't need these fancy strings. And one thing I like about Logic, another one of my go-to plugins is Alchemy. They just have some nice sounds. This is just a lead plugin that I have different leads pop up because I use leads in my music often. But as you can see, they have just a whole bunch of different sounds, arpeggiated sounds. So Alchemy, if you're using Logic, Alchemy only comes with Logic. But I really love that plugin. And then we got Massive again, but I have it as Plux. I use a lot of Plux in my songs too, just to give a lot of rhythm. They just sound good, a lot of custom presets with that. And then I have my stab hits. It's just one plugin, let's see. So it was this Swerve, S-W-U-R-V-E. I forgot who made this plugin. I don't even know if they still in business or not, but. It's just a stab, simple stab plugins, nothing real fancy, and to be honest, for the price of it, I think they really just sampled like bigger 
um, banks and made their own plug-in with the thing because some of the sounds, they don't sound too good and they just don't act well because this is not like a contact, a real contact instrument where it shows in this left-hand side. You have to pay some big licensing money to do that. But I like it anyway. And for my basses, I mostly always use Trillion. This is just my go-to bass module. I had it for a long time. They got a lot of different basses they can use. Whatever you want. So having this all preset, even though I mostly use the same instruments, when you submit to libraries, they don't know you're using the same instruments, right? And if these presets, they have a lot of different things in them where you can just use the v same VSTs and still get a lot of mileage with um, your music. So don't be afraid to be using the same type of plugins all the time. One thing I want to note too, let's see if I go to my drum kit, even though I said I use battery and you know that. One thing I like is the machine battery kits. So I have a little quick tab right here. So different ones pop up. I'm just going to click one. I don't know what these sound like, but I just love the machine battery expansion kits. They just some nice, good quality sounds, and I just use them a lot in my songs. Now, let's go to my presets and instruments that I use for my drama, tension, investigative type tracks. So, in this investigative drama suspense template that I have, you notice right off the bat, if we look at the top, the drums are different because most of the time I don't use a lot of drums but I still have them here if I need to use different type of drums. The main thing I usually use a lot is the perk FX, percussion FX. And if we pull it up, so I'm still using battery, but it makes delays and timely things that you will hear in drama and suspense music. You hear that the land if you can really hear it if you got headphones on so that's a preset i use and what i use is this ring shifter this is a default pro plug-in in logic and what it does it changes the frequency over time and it gives a different character also i use replica as my delay and this comes with the native instrument suite and i also use this old plugin absent five that has a couple effects on it that i use the anatizer i can't even read it that gives it these different sounds see if i take off all these plugins now it's just boring hits but this way having all these plugins on See, just right there. I'm just hitting three notes, but it's giving a lot of rhythm. And if you notice, if you listen to investigative type music or drama shows and you hearing those type of movements in there, you'll notice those little ear candies with the delays. It's often like one note, but it's just being delayed. So it makes it really easy to do. Same thing in my hip hop. I have all my risers and most of these risers, they are actually meant for drama type music. They're like creepy. Sounds like that. And I mainly use these risers as to lead into the sting hits at the end. Right. Nothing fancy. Got to have a piano. Got to have a nice little piano. Ooh. I mean, that. sometimes if you listen, they be real slick with the piano cues. You don't have to do a lot. That's why I do like making suspense and drama cues. If you, if you start noticing, they'll just hit you with a cue like this.
and that's the cue, right? It's so simple. That's why I love drama stuff. It's just so laid back and it's so much easier to produce, in my opinion, than trying to make a whole hip hop orchestra or something like that. I just love tension music. And I think I'm going to make a future video of showcasing how to make drama tracks because I think most people watching this channel, they probably came from a hip hop background. And I started with just hip hop, too. But once I discovered tension music and drama, I was like, oh, I really like this music. It's simple. It just creates a mood. Also, you got to have you got to have a bell. You got to have bells in there. For my bell sounds, I use um, Reactor Prison. I just love all their different bell sounds. Again, I have Alchemy loaded. I just use this as a general instrument. I just really love the thing. Now, the meat and potatoes of drama and suspense are mostly the beds and pads. So what I use right here my preset, I have Farlight pads. This is another native instruments. I, I just love native nat instruments plugins. Just simple. I mean, sometimes you can just hold these presets and they give you automatic motion to just make your track really simple. Now, this is one I definitely love, Rise and Hit. If you having trouble making your stingers, Rise and Hit is great, especially for drama, tension type music. Let me just show you what I mean. You see how it, you really need to listen on headphones. So you can make just a hit. It has the hits, but if you play them down in the keyboard, it actually rises up. And it adds all these different swooshing sounds in there. Let's see, let's go to a different preset. So they have these different, a whole bunch of different things. Let's type it in, rise and hit. As you can see, they have all these different type of presets that I really love and it makes it easy to make sting outs. Real, nice, high quality stuff. Let's move on. Another one, another pad that I use, Earth Real Earth. It just has different pads that it just gives a lot of background noise and drones and stuff that you can use for your drama suspense music. Another sleeper one, I think, is Mallet Flux, another native instrument plugin. What I like about this, so it has a built in arpeggiator, and you can do different type things, different. 16th notes, eighth notes. But what I like about this is you can press one button. I'm pressing one button right now. And it's giving me an arpeggiator bells. Again, if you listen to something with drama, like a Law and Order, or even like a Love and Hip Hop where they have drama in there, right? It's real tense and listen to the cue. Oftentimes you'll hear something like this. See, I'm just pressing three notes, but the plugin, if you look at the bars, they're moving and playing the arpeggiated version. So I don't have to really do much. And I want to tell you, there's no shame in your game if you don't really know how to play keys or chords or anything like that. These tools are made to help you. So something like this, Mallet Flux, if you're not good with making melodies, you can press one button, and you can have that rhythm going throughout your tracks. I promise you, the supervisors are not like, hmm, who is this fake person that don't know how to play the keyboard? No, if it fits the scene, it fits the scene. Another one that I have is my drones. Now, this is another very important part of shows that are investigative, murder drama 
right? Like the first 48 shows like that. So what a drone is, is just a subtle tone that's just playing in the background. You hear it? It's just mm, subtle. Let me go to another one. Right? Slight variations, but it's really just the undertone, right? Picture me walking into a door. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to investigate the scene. I'm building the tension. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> you see? And all I did, I just pressed one note. It's just one note. So I have all the all these drones and massive I created myself. Different types of drones. Real lush. Almost sound like pads. Now this. You got to have headphones on. It's a real low hum. Right? So I like making this music. And like I said before, I didn't even know I could create this music. Coming from a community that mostly did hip-hop, R&B. And then I started listening. And I was like, wait a minute. This music sounds different. And it sounds simpler. And then I started researching how to make it. Different pad sounds. And it's like, oh, these one note things, they are cues. Don't get it confused. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. I w that's why I, I like to showcase the type of music that I make that is not complicated. So if you think, oh man, my music is not good for sync because I make these pad as um, atmospheric type music, no. Your music has a place. You just have to find the right music publishers, the right libraries, because stuff like this, me just holding down one note, this is considered a cue, right? And it all has to fit the scene. And again, lastly in here, I have, which I use for my basses, again, my Trillion, module i just really love their bass sounds okay here's a little secret actually it's not a secret because it already exists in the thing i just don't think most people are aware of it so another little hidden gem i use for my suspense drama type music is reactor and you can see you have the bass things that you can use your different instruments but what people sleep on is this reactor factory library because these are older plugins right there you have to dig in the menus so you have different groove boxes so let's take this gold box so if i press a button oops i don't know why it's not play. oh i have to play it so all i did was press play all i did was press play you don't press a button it makes these different drum loops for you, right? So I got that going. Now let's just do real quick. I'm just gonna do some real quick my process. Oh, reverb. Okay, now, can you already imagine the scene? And remember, I didn't do anything. I'm just pressing play. Now, let me add a simple pad sound to give it some texture. All right, you see that? Let me capture, that's, I captured the pad. Let's play it again. You hear the, turn the drums down a little bit. That's simple. Now, for my cues, I would expand on it. But look how fast I got to an idea. That fast using these presets. Let me just click another one. And you can go in and tweak the different sounds, but think about it. Can you picture this in some kind of drama show? 
some kind of cop show. So that's one sleeper. These go boxes, they just do random different things. Woo! Now that was terrible. Turn that down a little bit. But see, just the same little thing. So that's the groove boxes. And the last thing I want to show you in here, mute that pad, is the sound generators. So the sound generators are like drones. So let's hit up this right here. Right there. I didn't, all I did was turn on the plugin and it's giving me noise. Now picture this for a creepy show. I know it sounds crazy, but let me do some of my effects on it. Okay, right? Put a little bit of effect on it. Now, let me add that delay like I was telling you. Let's see, where's that delay? Replica, there we go. And just go to something uh, preset. Now look at that. All I did was a few little extra things. Now I have a drone. With just adding effects. I didn't play any instruments. But think about it. I want you to listen to a creepy show. And if you hear something like this, you'd be like, oh, I get it now. So it's so simple to make stuff like this. So that's just one plugin. You got the space drone. The space drone is the same thing. You don't even play it. You just, it's just on. And they have different factory presets. And you can do tweaking and make it your own sound. So that's a little trick. Uh, look at that, it's still going. You can hear it very low. Right, but that's a little trick. If you need inspiration, especially for drama, investigative shows like that, this is in there. This is what you need. So what did you think? Did this make it helpful for you? I think in the future, I'm going to make a how I make my investigative drama suspense type tracks. Again, I want you to expand your mind a little bit. If you became like a master in hip hop and you want to do a little bit more, I advise you to get into making these kind of tracks that I just showed you. Why? One, when they play for cues, they play longer. When I, when I check my cue statements, I see these type of drama tracks, they'll play for longer in the scene than my hip hop tracks. It just makes sense. When you have a tense scene and people are doing stuff and it's like wonder and suspense and scariness, it goes on for quite a bit of time. So it makes sense why these cues play longer. And I also like it because they are easier to create. Not saying they are easy, but they are easier to create and I love making it. And it just gives me something else to do instead of just always making hip hop all the time. So let me know in the comments what value you got from this video and what other videos you want to see in the future regarding sync licensing and my process, whether it be questions or how I make my songs. And if you do need more tips, check out one of these videos.